Hey, Plant Fam! <laughs> Welcome back. That's a good one. <laughs> it was. You were on point with that one. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is David. This is not my jungle. It's the spare bedroom, but I brought some of my jungle in here, and I just realized that I forgot to put my earrings in, and I feel naked. Oh, naked no. loaves, but it's fine. Anyway, so today we are going to be answering your questions, finally, that are mostly about us. It's fine. Because <laughs> y'all are nosy, but it's oh. fine. We don't mind it. So I'm like glowing over here with this light on my cheek, like, bam. Yes, you are glowing. It's nice my highlight anyway <laughs> so i have a few plants that i need to repot and i figured we do that while he asks the questions and answers them <laughs> Can you answer them for me no okay <laughs> so i have a couple of plants here i have my brown marks fantasy that is like just kind of in some moss but it's rooted, so I want to just like put it back into the same container, but like really big leaf in soil. That's yeah. like the biggest leaf. Okay, right, look at it compared to your head. It's... You have a big head. I do. <laughs> it looks big compared to my head. Compared to your head, it looks little. That's cute. And then I have my Monstera Stanleyana Albo that's been in this bag for a while and it's just in moss so yeah it is pretty well i just recently wet it i keep it pretty wet in there to up the humidity and there's two different cuttings in here and this one for some reason even though it's rooted and growing like you see the leaves are curly hmm. they don't seem to want to perk up but this one's doing fine it got a little bit damaged on furling here but i don't know i've been wanting to put this one in some soil yeah. And to see if that would make it a little bit happier. She's dripping everywhere. It's fine. And then I have some Hoya Linearis that I have some cuttings I need to add to the pot. It's the fuzzy one, right? It is the funny, fuzzy. It's funny. funny. It is funny. It's the funny, fuzzy one. And then I have some Bertonier that's blooming. Look at it. That's pretty awesome. Um, That I have more cuttings that I need to Is that from mine? put in no. there. No, it's a different plant. The original plant, actually, ah. this one in here came from Sarah over oh. at Peanuts Plants. Oh, nice. And then I got more cuttings here from my friend Megan. So these have been rooting up in water. Right. The tendrils slapped <laughs> you in the face. <laughs> and I wanted to pop them all up together before it's too cold for me to be doing things like this because they are very significantly rooted. While he asks the questions, All right. I'm going to repop the plants. The first one, how long have you and David been seeing each other? I'm Cody. Hi, Cody. Hi, Cody. Um, how long have we been seeing each other and what are, our, what are your top three fastest growing plants? Oh, well, let's answer one question at a time, I okay. guess. All right. So how long have we been seeing each other? Um, in what capacity? I mean, that's a great question and to <laughs> clarify. So let's say in an official thing thing capacity. About three months now. Yeah, roughly. It'll right. be three months and a couple of days. Right. It's, we didn't meet three months ago, no. obviously. So We've like, been yeah. friends for like two years now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we call it a thing thing. But we were you're not both like a thing. You're just kind of like a thing thing. Both sort of in other relationships when we met, so. Why well, yeah. me sort of you definitely have right <laughs> right yeah life is filled with twists and turns isn't it yeah um, and then my what was that three fastest growing plants your three fastest growing plants probably the silta pecana grows like a weed right um pretty much any epipremnum too I feel like like my neon pothos grows really quickly my micans. My micans grows really, really fast. What about string of hearts? Well, yours sure as hell it's ridiculous. does. Ridiculous. I wake up and it's an extra six feet long. Like, yeah. Yeah. See, like, this one's not rooted. That's so weird. Do you see it? There's no, there's huh. no roots, but it's just been, like, living in water. It's been trying. It's been alive for, like, months, though. Right. Like, in there with no roots. A little curly. One little, like, no. Like, it looked like it tried. All right, so I think what I'm going to do with this. Recut. Oh, what's that? Is cut it. It got, yeah. like, 
like rotted out right there. Yeah, that it's looks so like weird. All right, I'm gonna probably remove this bottom leaf and like recut it at the next node here hmm. and give it some rooting hormone and try to like reroot this back into the container of moss. I was really trying to get it out of the container of moss, but right. that's fine. This one's rooted. It's got moss all over it. What's the next question? Next question. Um, you guys, okay, this is Olaf. Olaf. Okay. O Olaf? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I, I laugh out loud when I watch it to interact and joke around. Well, you're funny. You're um, funny. You guys are great for being yourselves. One question is, do you think that common house plants need more social media coverage? Do, do common house plants not get house plant love? I feel like they, they probably don't. They do in some circumstances, but not as much as like your Monstera Albo and like all those stupid but trendy plants. you say plants. it all the time, like some of your favorite plants are the ones that don't have any variegation. It's just like a nice green leaf. Mm -hmm. Like my Neon Pothos, which is common. Right. But you see more plants like this all over Instagram because it's variegated. You know, this, this cutting's not as variegated. There's a lot of variegation in the stem here. See it in the stem? But this one has more on the leaves. It's just like not doing well. I was hoping I'd be able to take a cutting for a friend, but it's looking like that's not going to happen anytime soon. So, mm. next one, not so much a, 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 a question as much from Angela. Mm -hmm. I was confused when I watched your emotional video. I was like, wait, is David the guy she was going out with? <laughs> and they got back together, and it's even friend zoned. No. <laughs> then I soon realized David is new guy, new which guy. I figured because he seems too damn nice to do you dirty. Thanks, yeah. Angela. I appreciate that. For now, anyway. For now. I thought the other one was too nice <laughs> for that, too. Wow. But, um, wow. Just things are just, the, the timer's ticking. Okay. No, no. Cool. no. That was, that was the, the one right. before. It was not me that she was crying about. Like, so let's just, yeah. That, that's, no, that's not important. yet, anyway. Not yet. <laughs> if I don't make you crunch wraps. All the tears will happen. <laughs> that might make me pretty sad, yeah. There's Next. Like so many roots. So question. I don't know what to do with them. This is an easy one for you. What is the most rare plant that you have? Oh. Is it? It's easy? I don't know. This I is, don't know. This depends is Landon on, asking. Like, rarity. It sure. depends on your definition of, of rare. Um, and I have, like, I have some... Let's not call it expensive, but, like, difficult to come by. Probably some of my Hoyas, maybe. Right. I don't know which ones. Like Larry? <laughs> Larry <laughs> is rare just because it's a Coco Ranch hybrid. Right, and unless right. you buy it from Coco Ranch or a private seller, like you're not going to find it in a nursery. I've seen most all of these plants in one nursery that we've been to or another, but never a Callistophylla. No, not around here. Not yet, anyway. Yeah. I've seen people find them in nurseries, but they have to be hmm. like nurseries that import it's hoyas yeah, yeah yeah right like they buy hoyas like some people just aren't into the hoya market and i don't know why every time i go to a nursery i'm like why don't you have any hoyas can you get more hoyas <laughs> so that i can buy them please thank you and they usually do they do <laughs> <laughs> that you know what let that be a lesson people right like just if you go to a nursery ask the nursery like yeah. ask the people there the people are usually so nice don't just be all quiet and shuffling out of there with yet another brazil being like this is all i could get like it's okay to ask for some hoya you know yeah that's good the people help I don't know. You plant people are just, you all want to help each other. It's kind of weird. Because we just want to bring the plants <laughs> to the people. Right. If you don't mind me asking, this is Barbara. How old are you both? I'm 71. Wow, that's old. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara. That's not uh, old, It's time Barbara. for the age game. Oh, boy. I mean, what do y'all think? 29. Obviously. Obviously. Then what does that make me? 19? <laughs> <laughs> can't publish his video uh, i'm gonna be 32 well i'll be 32 already by the time you guys have seen this because we're gonna have a virtual birthday party Ooh, that's gonna be fun i'm looking forward I'm to excited. it i'm excited you're yeah. not gonna tell them how old you are are you what anyway next question is <laughs> i'm 46 he's old i'm four i'm not old what i'm just it's, it's it's i'm like just never mind it's fine <laughs> 
You it's know? not how old, it's the age is just a number. Okay? I know, well you act more childish than I do sometimes. That's alright, now you just took that in the complete opposite direction a little too far, but that's okay. It's fine. Uh, I don't have a puppet collection, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I still have a lot of stuffed animals, so... Right. Well, to be fair, to I've been picking up stuffed animals for you. Yeah, you have. He Tuna, me, strawberry, matcha. Yeah, he also yeah. bought me a giant loaf of bread. Burritos. And mm. it's a body pillow, but you it's like, a loaf of bread. It looks like a giant baguette. You For like me carbs. To, I do. Yeah. All right, so this one's in soil now. She's kind of like wonky. Why is she growing like that? She's a little, that's a little okay. weird. Yeah, that's okay. I feel like she needs um, right turn. something to climb on, or maybe I'll just keep letting her grow and then cut her because she's got these aerial roots. Here. Steak. And probably I got her. A shorter. Is My feet fell asleep. This is sad. The How We Met story. You want to tell the story or uh -huh. you want me to tell the story? Well, I mean, you, okay. So, so basically, just uh, two fellow YouTubers. Um, yeah. You know, really more than anything. And you contacted me because you were looking up INFJ stuff. and Yeah. Trying to figure some figure yourself out. Of the, what is my cat doing? He's trying to dig under the blanket, he's... but he doesn't realize that he's on top of the blanket. <laughs> but it's not going to work that way. Yeah. So the the long version of that story is the um, person that hurt me before. I was going through some stuff with that. I had just recently started looking into like what it meant to be an INFJ to see if that would be helpful. And I found his channel. Right. We became very fast friends. Sent him a message on the gram, slid into them DMs. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we became fast friends and yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And, and he was there for me for like a lot of yeah. that heartbreak and oh, we just got really close. And everything in my life went completely sideways. <laughs> um like in a really grand fashion uh, each way so that's always fun i mean look i've been on my own journey the last few years you know three years ago my brother passed away suddenly my big brother um you know last year i lost my dad to cancer uh he's really your cat sorry is really that's funny. not a yeah. oh that's hysterical laugh. yeah thanks for that <laughs> Finally yeah, figured out how to get himself under he the got blanket. it he's all good yeah um it's a lot of roots by the way she sent so, me like the base of her plant so all of that for me um yeah i just really had to reevaluate everything about life and where i was and what i was doing made a lot of changes um yeah. to try and get myself okay again because i was not okay so you know through a lot of that and a lot of internal work um we, here we are yeah. uh so let's see. Okay, here we did the age. Is. Here we is. We did the age question. I don't have a question. I want to say that you two are adorable. <laughs> it's, Thank you. I'm the cute one. It's okay. It's, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, this is a good question. Burly marks. Bro marks. Burly. Bro. Burly. Burly. Bur Hurley. Burly marks. BMF. B Bro marks okay. fantasy. Yeah, no, that works. Nobody <laughs> ever wants to write it all out. No. So I put that in some soil. This is like really fluffy soil, by the way. It's like kind of peaty and a little bit of perlite -y. I like putting the, the Y. Peaty, perlite <laughs> perlite -y, -y. Yeah, so it's really light and fluffy. Mm. My my plants have been liking it, so. Yeah, do the little linearis one next. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's cute. It is cute. Little, um, little, I've had this thing growing for so long. I grew it from like here. It was oh, like wow. a little cutting that I got years ago. Hmm. I don't consider the linearis rare at all anymore because I've been seeing them pop up in the nurseries, which means that they're available through the growers. So right. people are growing them. All that, all those years it's been in that pot and that's it for the roots? Wow. Really? That's it. Those are the roots. I'm really disappointed, linearis. But these don't have a lot of roots either. Them. I have this in moss. Maybe it just doesn't like to root blocks. Another question for you. How did you decide to start a YouTube channel? I wanted a place where I could talk about my plants and people wouldn't get annoyed. <laughs> Everybody was getting annoyed with you talking about your plants. Pretty much. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. 
Uh, do you have any advice for beginners? Like beginner plant people? Somebody or? wants to start a YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Just do it. Honestly. Like I the, think the be longer consistent. you wait to like start though, like the, you're not going to do it. That was hard. Like you, yeah. Cause when you start, it's not going to be perfect, but you no. just have to do it anyway. Yeah. My first handful of videos were terrible. Right. But people liked them anyway. Yeah. Like the audio is going to be odd. Like the, the yeah. cuts are going to be weird, but the you just. The quality is not going to be great. I mean, my quality just still isn't that great. I don't remember my microphone and I'm using my cell phone. I don't think you can upgrade your skills unless you're creating the videos and publishing right. them. Like there's only so much yeah, you can learn before like, you actually do it. The way that you talk to the camera too, like you're not going to get any better at it if if you don't just do it right like I look back at my old videos and I'm like I'm very like hey guys so like, <laughs> you know, today I'm gonna like talk to you like and I'm like you right. could see my goofy side for sure but I was way more like conscious of how I was coming across mm. and now I'm just like oh, I'm gonna crap. You know what I mean? like you either yeah. like me or you don't if you don't then bye and if you do then hang out and we'll be friends and then it'll be all good right I am um, with this fucking box again. That's okay. I don't have enough room with you sitting there. I'm sorry. I usually have like the box just here and the dirt here. Do you want to just here. put the box on my lap and no. you do it over this? What camera do you use? You have a Samsung something or other. Yeah, it's phone. just my phone cell camera. phone. Which actually works really well. It brightens it, it up really nicely. It does in here yeah. when I have good lighting and when it's consistent. Sometimes the sun goes in and out. But I don't like to use my ring light because then it's like really right. bright. Next one. Light. Next one is for me. Oh. Uh, Gloria is asking that that prior question, by the way, was Jocelyn. So thank you, Jocelyn. Um, Gloria asks, "What does David do for a living?" I do a bunch of stuff. Solid question. It is a solid question. And do I get along with your kitty? I get Crash and I are buddies. What Although do you he's giving me a little, he's giving me a little bit of a <laughs> stare down. Right <laughs> Guys, he's got like half his face covered. With Should I take a picture so you can post it? Like, if can, you want, if I you could get it from here, I can get it from there. I can, I I'll can... put it up on the screen for you guys to see what my cat. So you can understand, he was trying to dig himself under the blanket. He's That's so fine. Silly. He's ridiculous. Enjoy that picture. Um, so, what do I do for a living? Uh, I do a few things. I was for actually for many years. I ran a martial arts school. I closed that up um, shortly after my brother passed away. Again, it was just kind of like redoing all the priorities. But I have for the last 20, 22 years been working with uh, databases. It's technical stuff and it can be pretty complex, but I'm a relational database design person. It's very exciting, but I get to work from home. It's a good gig. Also, I'm, I'm an author. I've written and published my first book and in the description box it always is working on restarting the second one because I was unhappy with how I started it so uh, yeah but you're, you're still making progress it's yeah, coming yeah. along writing is something very new I and like dear to it me, so uh, I'm glad that I get to like you get like some of the, some be of the more inside dirt part of like having those conversations with you uh, yeah it's, it's like fun. the first one I kind of didn't want to know because I just wanted to read it and right. like right but now it's like yeah. if he's frustrated and stuck on something, like I want to help, you know, sometimes it helps just to yeah. talk it out and bounce it off of another person. It helps, but then you, you, if you're not going to want to read it because you're going to know everything. No, I'm still going to want to read it I'll because I'm going to want to see how too. You can how read it, it to Crash. Out. You could like sit there with Crash and just read to him at night. It might be nice. A moment for you too. <laughs> but yes, I get along. Like, he's attacked me like once or twice, but... He bit me this morning. I mean, yeah, he really chomped on you this morning. I um, was smushing him. He didn't like it. But I pretty much, like, I know how to, like, keep my distance from him or just, like, kind of I always do, do that. I'm, thing. like, sitting on my knees and then it starts you to hurt because then asleep. I feel like I'm so low down. No, we're both frame. shorter. You want me to I'll move the frame? Here's my new linearis, by the way. She's looking a little wonky, but, like, she'll settle in. No one's sticking up. <laughs> That's good. She'll settle in and yeah. start to trail and be fine. So what I made you start collecting plants? Um, we've always been kind of like a hippie, not gonna lie. I like nature and stuff, and I always <laughs> wanted stuff. nature and stuff, nature like and trees stuff. and birds. And, Dirt. Yeah. <laughs> so, I've always wanted to grow my own food, like that's always been a thing, like if you guys didn't know, I'm going to school to be a dietitian, I'm almost done, thank you sweet baby Jesus, <laughs> and um, 
yeah, I've always just been into like plants as medicine and like, you know, stuff like that. So I got into houseplants because I acquired a succulent that I managed to not murder. And then it just kept growing and I know what to do with it. Then I learned how to propagate it. And then once I started, pro I was propagation. Propagation turned me into a crazy plant lady. Seeing little, little pieces of plants grow into big plants. Yeah, and that's right. why propagating is still probably one of my favorite things to do. And that's why I have so many propagations here that I'm repotting with you today. Right. Thank you for always uh, providing great content. You're so awesome. You're welcome. Thank what you. What does the inverted square tattoo mean on your wrist? Inverted square? The thing. Oh, underneath. this, yeah. you mean? Is it focuses on your face. Go ahead, goes. put your hand yeah. <laughs> You can see it. It's, a, it's an emoji. I'll put the emoji up. Um, it's a Japanese anime symbol that appears around the head, usually on the forehead, and it's actually representative of bulging veins. So it's kind of like the shadows of the bulging veins. Um, yeah. Right. When you see like a character that's like just like kind of freaking out, yeah. you usually see that symbol on their forehead. Yeah. So it's right. a traditional Japanese anime symbol for like anger, frustration, stuff like that. Right. Um, you see it a lot more now in like even American cartoons and stuff. Agritsuko was where I like really first noticed it actually. Yeah. Because it was really prominent on like the uh the her boss's head yeah. when he was well, like freaking he's out always or something. Angry. Right. Originally, like traditional Japanese anime, everything was hand drawn. So they came up with like different symbols and different like little things that they can kind of tweak to represent different emotions so that they didn't have to redraw like every single thing. You know what I mean? Right. So that's where this comes from, but you're gonna see it in pretty much any animated thing no. now. Like American cartoons use it as well, so. The last one, Kristen is asking, do you have your own apartment or do you live with roommates slash parents? <laughs> I live with my mom. Yep. I love my mom. <laughs> you don't sound stressed out at all. We're, um, like an old married couple, though. Like, we've yeah, been you are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I do spend a lot of time at his place, too. Yeah, kind yeah, of, like, yeah. We spend every other time weekend together. She so. taught my cat how to yell at me <laughs> at 2 o'clock in the morning because she's hungry. So I that's good. I didn't teach her. No, you did. You, you definitely did. I just did. introduced her to better food. <laughs> to, and to, then she demands it. <laughs> so you introduced her to pampering her. Chicken. With chicken and brushing and all the My things. My bad for wanting cats to be happy. She is much happier, though. Her fur yeah. grew back. That yeah, she had bald she spots. A, yeah, she now she's like weird. all... She put on weight, too. A little bit. She's getting... Yeah, she's getting a little thicker. Yeah. Yeah. She's a happy kitty. She's a happy kitty. Well, are there any other questions, like, about us? No, Because I, I had some on Instagram, you guys. I know you submitted them in my story, and then I couldn't get back to them, which is really irritating. Instagram must have, like, updated. Because you used right. to be able to go back into your old stories and yeah, then Yeah, I can after, see like, a few days, it seems like it's just gone. And now I couldn't. So if I had known, I would have screen grabbed them, but I was like, oh, it's right. fine. Like, we'll just pull them up. Yeah, which we can't do. So, yeah. No, a couple of them were we just answered, like the kind of how we met. And, like, yeah, and most of your questions about right. like us, if you have more, put them yeah. in the comments. And we like each other. We hang out. It's good. <laughs> we're a thing thing. <laughs> we will um, answer them because <laughs> I think people were confused over seeing me upset in that vlog. Not my fault. And no, not yep. his fault. Yep. Not his fault. Good. It was the last guy's fault. Somebody actually jammed me and offered to go kick my ex's ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. I was like, you know what? <laughs> Karma. Violence not my not problem. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not going to repot this Hoya because it's too, I'm too tired. I'll do it another day. But got my bro marks. My Monstera Standaleana. I might just cut that honestly and send it to my friend. Oh, what? The top part there because it's like sticking out weird. Oh. Anyway, and my Linearis. <laughs> she feels left out. You want to hold her? There you honestly. go. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Oh, you, you pointed to the right spot. I randomly pointed and made it right. <laughs> If you watch this whole entire video, leave us a blue heart and a purple heart emoji in the it's comment blue, section below. Blue, purple, cool colors. Because those are the ones that we send each other. It is. So. This. <laughs>
purple because you're the good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's the good shit. <laughs> The good shit's always purple. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you, fam, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Can't reach it. <laughs> There's like a remote thing. Better.